and welcome to TrumpRepublican.News. This is Jack Isom speaking. That's right, TrumpRepublican.News, TrumpRepublican.News. We're a fast-paced news organization. The website, TrumpRepublican.News. Go there, get new information. Well, this show deals with a very tricky subject. It's called the language game very tricky language. So listen carefully as, as we're talking here. This was explained to me by a person of very, very high intelligence that understands the psychological and emotional power of words and linking words to concepts inside our head. It has something to do with mind control. I don't know much about it other than what I'm about to say. Maybe you know more. We hear a term these days pertaining to Trump on a Russian collusion investigation or a Russian hacking investigation. Now, for some reason, because Special Prosecutor Mueller is out there using this constantly, talking about Russian collusion, Russian hacking, somehow that phrase is being linked to President Trump. But there has been no evidence for a year and a half after millions of dollars of spending money. There was no Russian uh, collusion or Russian hacking that Trump was involved in or his people or his campaign. But where was there Russian collusion and Russian hacking? Well, the Russian collusion was with Hillary. And Obama and Mueller himself, they were involved in a Russian uranium deal. It was called Uranium One, Russian. So Hillary, Obama, Mueller, and others, the Clinton Foundation, and $400 million being paid that somehow was never reported to the income uh, for income tax to the Internal Revenue Service. Now, the definition, here's part of the language game, collusion, what the heck does that really mean? Does that mean I sat down and talked to a Russian? Well, maybe. And the Russian hacking? The Democrats are trying to say, that, oh, the Russians hacked our computers. Well, the truth is, the uh, Russians attempted to do that to the Democrats. But Seth Rich, a guy who worked at the Democrat Party and the campaign, hacked the computers. That was his job to handle computers for the DNC. He saw what was going on with Bernie Sanders and he reported it and gave information over to WikiLeaks. And then Seth Rich was murdered. He's dead. Okay. So when we start to listen or hear something about Russian, you know, what, what would you have thought of if you had heard the word Russian? and then collusion. Inside your mind, they've been trying to make us infer that it has something to do with Trump, but in reality, it has to do with the Democrat Party as well as Hillary Clinton and illegal activity relating to Uranium One, which uh, some people have been arrested relating to. It. Now that's an example of them using a word and then trying to accuse Trump of something when in reality, they are the people that did it themselves, the DNC. So it's, it's kind of tricky, but whatever like the opposition has done, they try to accuse the other side to confuse the issue. It's a language game, and it's pretty effective. If you listen to the media, the mainstream media, they play that game all the time, and they use those phrases, Russian collusion, Russian hacking, and they try to connect it to Trump, but there's nothing there. Well, there's another language game happening called Trump Derangement Syndrome and Trump Anxiety Disorder. And this is, you know, very easy to figure out. Uh, the people that are acting out in the derangement are, are liberals and progressives and socialists, people screaming at the sky in these uh, DNC-sponsored events where there's all kinds of marchers and protesters. 
and they act deranged. And there's been some cases where they've actually, you know, been triggered by somebody having a bumper sticker. But I want you to notice the phrase. This is part of the language game, Trump derangement syndrome. Now, Trump is, is they're just saying Trump is the derangement, the trigger for it. But notice how even using that phrase, somehow that's connecting Trump to derangement. And what have the Democrats, Democrats been doing? They've been accusing President Trump of not being right, you know, in mind and all of that kind of thing. But the derangement is on the Democrat side and what I like to call the libtards. So it should be called libtard derangement syndrome and libtard anxiety disorder. But notice how the media has been running it, putting Trump in front of it as a, you know, trying to describe what Trump is, when in reality it's not Trump at all. It's the libtards and those members of the media. Well, I know this is a little bit of a short show, but, you know, we at TrumpRepublican.News, we woke up to a lot of the things that have been going on in America and around the world. We've opened up to what the truth is, and we continue to seek that and to report it to you. So like President Trump likes to say, keep moving forward. Never, ever give up. God bless everybody.